Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. Today I'm going to teach how to make the WPF C sharp currency converter. So the WPF you can see here it's a nice use interface. You can enter the amount which you want to convert. Uh, here there, is, there will be the two choices: this is USD to Sri Lankan rupees and Indian rupees. So I'm going to convert 200 and 200 amount. I want to convert USD to Sri Lankan rupees. Okay. So yes, is Sri Lankan rupees. So if you convert, so this is the 200, right? So if it is one USD, you have to convert into Sri Lankan this one, right? If it is two, this. If it is select as Indian, if it is one seventy. If it is two forty, right? It will be able to convert. Simply you have to convert the currency converter. Okay. So here you have to end. Uh, here you have to add uh, how many you uh, want to add the currency uh, uh, rupees. You will be able to add it over here. Okay, you will be simply you have to uh, drop down, select the drop down, and you will be able to select an easy to process the output. Now let's see. Now what I'm going to do is uh, first I'm going to design this app. So first I'm going to go to file. new project select c -sharp windows application desktop you have to make this these two three choices c -sharp windows application desktop here you can see the wf application wf application this dot net wf application click next here write wpf currency converter Click next. Click create. Now you have to wait until the project created. Here you have a blank design. So a little bit you have zoom it. You can see this simple design. We have to do it right. So this is the your XML file, right? So this is XML file. This is your C sharp code. So here we have we are going to uh, all the things we have to write in the code all the buttons and all the controls. So here, window size, I'm going to specify it as uh, height 250, mention is 250, height we have to mention it as 400, uh, width I'm going to mention at 400. It would be the perfect one. Inside the grid, I'm going to design all the combo box and all the things, right? So here, first what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create the grid column definition so column definition you can set it here this is a column definition you have set it right so here we no need this space right so you have to only we need 200 and 400 400 mean this one should be there uh, 350 right okay so here we have a this one should be the 25, 350 mean this space, 25 mean this space, single space. In between this area, we have to write the design the user interface. After the raw definition, this also set here, we leave it as 25. Below, we have to uh, leave it as 5. So here, this is 25, 5. Okay. In this area, where we have designed our user interface, right. So this is the raw definition, column definition. Simply, we have to define it. After that, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a simple stack panel. With a simple stack panel, we have done all the things, right? I'll be explaining it, right? Okay, here. The design should be there. Here you can see the stack panel. Grid, stack panel, grid, column one, row one. This column one, row, row one. When is the column one? This column. It's a row one. This stack panel. Okay, so you have to write it here, column 1, column starting from 0 position, column 1 means this is the first one. So here, this column 1, uh, grid row 1 means this is a row 1. Okay, so here after that, you have to write this grid, grid column definition, this one 100, this one 250. 
okay so after that you have to write the adjust the all things right this this one should be the height is 25 leave one five space out of 25 leave five space five gap okay each each uh, text field and uh, text boxes and each text boxes i leave as leave it as five i give i give the five height five percentage height to uh, we have to separate one this also we have to separate five percent you have to give right then only you have to easily separate all the text fields right? if you want to give the five ten it will be <laughs> simple you have to write right now what i'm going to do is label is the amount zero column zero text field text amount is a text amount zero one position from this is the from text field this is row two column zero this combo box name cbo from uh, also under alignment left this is a left alignment top width and height this is the width and height row two grid row two column one mean this one run so combo box item contain this is a usd mean here we have a drop down there will be the only one we have to write the content which is a usd okay simple combo box design this is the name of the combo box you have written also under alignment mean is select as left alignment Okay, it's so a top width. We have to specify the height and width of the combo box. Grid row two. It's so a grid row two. Okay, so two the same thing. This is the label we have to write the containers two, the four zero. Combo box. This is the name we have given as a combo box. Also on the left top, height and given uh, height and width. We have to specify the height and width. Grid row. Out of we have we written inside here two contents. One is the Sri Lankan rupees and Indian rupees. Okay, this is called as a combo box items. Here we only write one items. Here we have a two items. <coughs> okay, that we have two choices. If, if you have another three or four currencies, you have to just copy and paste it, and you have to get it. The same thing if you want to convert here as well, you have to just copy and paste, and whatever content you have made, you have to just list out. Okay, very simple. Okay, uh, with the example purpose, I have list out two. If you have a more currency and you have to more currency converter, you have to make it as advanced one. You have to just leave the list out what I said. Or you just copy and paste and you can get it. Very simple. After that, we have one label total. Here also text box you have to return as TXC total. Okay. The first one is a amount text label. This amount is a text amount text. Okay. After that, we have another text stack panel put it we have to write stack panel stack panel inside here we have to write one button which is a convert okay here when you select the uh, option usd to sri lankan rupees click but convert button the desired amount will be converted into convert into this text field okay right that is a simple design we have done it don't worry about that this all the source i provide you you will be able to use them right First, you have to understand what the process done. That is the only thing you have to understand. It's a very simple design, right? I am not doing the. Uh, this is not an attractive one. I done. I done the simple design. So, if you understand the W concept well, you will be able to style it very simply, right? Okay. Now let's go to the C sharp. C sharp. Let's do it here as what's the name of the button we have given. Convert button convert right button convert right this one name main window button convert dot click click event plus equal press tab key on your keyboard two times then your method has been created over here here I'm going to write a simple code to convert the things. explain it don't worry if you take too much of time to complete if you are written right so here we have to create the variable double dot first okay i have created the double type variable double we have to create another variable amount double dot pass txt amount dot text what is the value you are type on this amount variable it will be assigned into the double variable okay what is the amount you are typing on this Text field, text box, the text box will be assigned with the variable amount. 
okay so if you are write the double uh, data type you have to convert them as a double dot pass if it is int uh, integer value if you have type the integer you have to create an integer variable you have to convert as integer dot pass right the same thing right after that if you have convert the take combo box you have to cast it you have to cast it you have to write combo box item come from combo box dot selected item dot contain two string equal usd usd mean if they if you have select here as usd and combo box cbo two two this is two mean this is a two text second one okay selected item contain two string equals sri lankan rupees we have to total variable you have to get it over here equal what is the amount you are typing over here into i just put into one rate of the sri lankan rupees you can put whatever rate in your country rate okay what is the country the currently your rupees is uh, rupees into your uh, usd you are given here one usd equal into your country rate okay you are one usd equal into your country rate you have to put it over here after that the the amount and your one usd rate it will calculate and assign to the variable dot right after that this this value we have to print out into the t, uh, text box total this text box so you have to call it over here and after that after print out you have to convert as a two string method that's the thing we have to do it. the same thing like this second one is also first you have to cast it from this one should be usd if, if the user select as indian rupees is select as so this, this is the amount after that it will be calculated and display the total into the txt total txt text box it's very simple okay now let's check out whether it's working or not if you are click the play button first it will be building okay it's depending on your operating system if it's your uh, configuration if your machine configuration is good what is the error one all right if it is your operating system it's good your machine uh, configuration is good it's working for uh, fast in my machine little bit slow okay that's why it's take little bit time to load that of wbf it's everything it's selected okay here yeah, okay. now it's coming now i'm going to type the two this is you select as usd it convert as sri lankan rupees this one. What is the Indian rupees? This one. What is the 200? Two Indian rupees? This one. Plus Sri Lankan rupees? Convert this one. Right. Now I, I forgot to add the uh, title. So how to add the title? Go to the XML file. The currency convert the title. Currency converter. That's it. If you execute and check, here it's working fine. To USD, it's working fine. Perfect. I hope you guys you understood things well. If you have any doubt, you can ask me anytime. If you love my channel, please subscribe me, like me. Thank you for watching.